Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark with another Learn Dash tip. And in this video, we're going to look at how you can style your WordPress login screen. Now, what you might have is a site where you've got everything branded up. You've got your logo in there, buttons and things like that, all looking on brand. But what you tend to find is that when people log in via the normal WordPress login page, you end up with this very unbranded generic WordPress login. And we're going to show you how you can customize this and bring this in line with the rest of your site. So we'll switch to a admin login here and I'm just going to head to the dashboard. And we're going to install a plugin to help us with this. So on the left hand menu, we'll scroll down to plugins and then choose add new. And we're going to simply search for custom login here. This will bring up a few options and there are a few available ways you can do this. Um, what we'll say is that some of these have a lot more features than just customizing the login screen. So some of these have features around controlling login lengths and things like that. Often you find that plugins almost try to do too much. And what we want to do is something, what we want to use is something really simple that just customizes the login and nothing else. So we found one here called Custom Login Page by Customizer. Look at Custom Login Page Customizer by Colorlib. And we're just going to install that one here. We can see it's got 70,000 plus active installations and it's got five stars in its reviews from people who've reviewed it. Once we've installed it, we can click on this activate button. And we can scroll down onto the left hand menu once it's activated and we will find an option here called login customizer. So I'm just going to click on that now. And what that will do is load the theme customizer here, but almost immediately switch to the login page of the, uh, the site, which we can see at the moment is just the standard WordPress login page. So we're just going to go through these sections one by one. We won't go into every single detail here, but we'll just skip through and just get something that looks on brand and, and looks quite nice. So the first thing we'll do is choose templates here. And we can see that there are a number of really nice looking templates and we can just click into these to see how they would appear. So you can have things like full page backgrounds, split screens here, and you know, form on the right. So let's just pick one of these as a basis for our customization. Let's stick with this one. Once it's selected, we can scroll up and just click the back button here to go back to the other section. So we'll go through each of these one by one. So the first one we've done there is templates. The next one we'll choose is logo options. And we can choose whether we want a logo or text to display here. So if you wanted something there, I think the default here is to say powered by WordPress for some reason, but I'll just put a logo in there. And so maybe say um, show image only. And what that will do is allow us to choose a, an image or a logo to appear here. So like I say, I'm not going to go into every individual section here, but what we're going to do is choose a logo to appear here at the top. And we do this by choosing a custom logo here. And we'll click select image which will bring us to our media library where we could upload an image or we could just select one from the ones that we already have in our media library. And if you remember the logo of the page we were on is this Jamie and Annie health and nutrition logo. I'm just going to choose that here and then click choose image. Now, depending on the template you've chosen, some of these might not appear straight away. What we need to do is tinker with these logo width and logo height options here. So if I just drag these up a bit, so a bit, that bit bigger, we can see that we have our logo appearing here. So now we have a, a logo page that now displays the correct logo. I'm going to scroll back up and then click back again. We've got some layout options here that allow us to tweak sort of the, um, the layout of how things appear such as the form's vertical alignment. I mean, I don't actually know what would happen if we clicked these, but um, 
you know, we can see what what changes it makes as we we do some of these. But let's just leave that as it as it was, um, and then click back here. One of the things we might want to do is change this background image here. So what we have is a, a health and nutrition site. So this doesn't really fit that um, that theme. So what I'm going to do is choose a custom background for here. And then again, we'll just click select image, head to our media library where we could upload a file or just choose one from the ones we already have. So I'm just going to choose a relevant image here. Um, and maybe choose a different one actually that fits um, a bit better there. So one with um, someone on the right hand side of the page. Again, we'll scroll up and then click the back button here. And there's a few other general form options here. So we can change things like the form width. Um, I think you can see that just changing there slightly. So um, we can move that back to where it was, somewhere around here, was it? Um, and the form's height. We can choose a background image for the form itself. And um, a few other sections back here, we can set border radiuses and padding and things like that for the um, the form. We'll head back here. We've got the login form text, so we can change what the fields are here, username and password. And if you have the forgot your password option here, you can say what the link for that is. So if I wanted to change that to username or email, I could change that here. And that would make a change to the um, title of that, that field. We've also got a few options here for editing other aspects of the, the form. We can change the button colors. So we've got a button background color here of purple. I will maybe just bring that more in line with the, um, the logo here. Obviously you would probably have a hex value that you could just copy and paste into that, but um, I'm kind of making this one up as I go along. Um, and um, you can also choose things like the button's hover state, which at the moment is black. Button border color, let's get rid of that, I think. Um, can I clear that? And things like the button hover state, you can also clear as well. Oh yeah, we've got um, button shadows here that we can take off as well. So there's a few different things that we can um, change here around the, the theme, just to bring all of this on brand. And the last one would allow you to add some custom CSS here. It looks like it's already brought some in automatically, but if we wanted to add our own and you knew how to add CSS, then this is where you would insert that. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is click publish and that is now saved. So if you head back to the page where we had our login screen before and just refresh that, we can see we've now got a much more on-brand login page, which fits the look and feel of the site and it's just um, brings your site and makes it a whole lot more consistent. So I hope you find this useful. And if you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.